straight up, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls and dudes. You could go to a sports high school. How awesome would that be? Only freaks make it in. Oh, totally sick. How about a private school? I hear St. Davidian's goes off. Of course, you have to have had your name on the waiting list since birth, birth, birth. Yes, you do. How about a selective heart? Strictly for brainiacs. Come to selective with me. We need to stick together, Taylor. We need to stick together. Taylor! Taylor! Taylor? Taylor? You'll be late for school. Thing is, at the end of year six, life is full of seriously big changes. Like what high school are you going to go to? Can you do all the homework? And worst of all, how are you going to make new friends? It's the scariest thing I've ever had to face. Besides my family. Clubs are stuffed. Sorry, kids. No lift today. Just a sec, just a sec. What are you doing? Sending the engines and positive life force. Let's go. <laughs> You're no doubt aware presentation day approaches. As it will be your last formal occasion here as students at Sunburn Primary, I think we should mark the event in a special way. Watch Sir? this. Yes, please. Off the desk. We can perform a song. Yes, indeed, we could have, but unfortunately, 6B has picked us to make an idea. Hector. Great work. It's a gift. <laughs> After meandering through the school photo records, I've decided that 6M's contribution to the event will be a PowerPoint presentation. Sir, can I do it? Yes, you may, Brittany. But as it's too much work for one person... <laughs> I'm sure I can manage I'm appointing that. Hector and Leon to assist you. And, Taylor, I'd like you to make a speech. About what? What do you feel you've gained from your years with us here in Sunburn Primary? Sir. <laughs> 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 Remember the time when Leon accidentally turned the fire hydrant on you? Sadly, I do. Yeah. Check this out. Me with my black eye. How'd you get that? And then Taylor kicked his soccer ball at me. He shouldn't have been loitering on the field. I was in the car park. Oh, how cute are you? What, Jeremy? <laughs> Unbelievable. What? You were a hat dog from your first day at school. That was the camp in year four where it rained every day. Yeah, yeah, we had to eat that disgusting tuna pie. Oh. What do you mean? It was fantastic. Oh. <laughs> what about the swimming carnival where you jumped into the water and your cozy fell off? Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Yes, it was. <laughs> it, it never happened. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. What is? This. It's all about to end. I mean, we'd have seven years of school together. That's like half my life. Doing the math, Leon. And now it's nearly over. We can't let it. No. We're friends, right? We've got to stay together. But how? Leon made it into a sports high. Yeah, and I'm going to select Vinyas. And you're going to selective. Reserved and selective. You're a brainiac. You'll get in. Maybe I don't want to. And I'm going to Driftwood. All by myself. No, you're coming to select Vinyas with me. Mum and Dad can't afford it. There's got to be a way. Come on, guys. Let's make a circle. Come on. Is this going to be dorky because, um, I have a reputation? Leon. Now, no matter what happens, we'll always be friends, right? Right. 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 Forever? Forever. 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 Is that enough? Yeah. yeah. yeah.
is the eight jet gas barbecue with a wok burner. The teen retreat, my office. And of course, the new pool and spa. Where's the garden? Oh. Well, there isn't one. I can't even say a path. We had to sacrifice something, darling. So, you mean you step out of the pool into... My office, see? But, won't your work get wet? And then the ink will run. There's no alternative. Our land's too small. There's no other option. You could buy some of the fries yard. Oh, don't be ridiculous. They've got plenty to spare. Lila, this is unbelievable. 131st out of a year of 132. Who did you beat? Tran. He's still learning English. Oh, that's heartening. <gasps> oh, listen to this. In terms of historical analysis, Layla is alone in her assertion that Paris Hilton was present at the Siege of Troy. <laughs> I know what you two are going on about. I'm leaving school anyway to follow my artistic path, to explore my creative talent and to develop my natural gift. And that would be? A nail artist. No daughter of mine is leaving high school at 15 to paint nails. Well, try and stop me. I will. I'll send you to boarding school if I have to. Yeah, right. Well, St. Davinia's has a boarding school. Brittany's going there next year. Really? Apparently, though, the history students are going cruising down the Nile. You're joking. I know. Oh, no, don't worry, I'll get it's it. It's just what Layla needs. And Taylor. How could we possibly afford that? G'day, folks. Isn't it great? In term three, we do skiing, clarinet, and show jumping Japanese. Uh, that's show jumping and Japanese. <sighs> Even better. Did I mention that one girl in our year is the daughter of the Maharaja? Only four times. Could you please give me the rest of the photos? I think they're in the cupboard. Oh, our school does so many things. We do uh, Mandarin and rowing and Egyptology. What do you think, Mummy? Trust me, you'll adore cruising down the Nile. It's amazing. I just can't believe the actual daughter. Not the cousin, the daughter. In my year, the daughter of the Maharaj. That's like Prince Charles's daughter or something. This is going to be awesome. You're going to love St. Dominion's. <laughs> no way. Look at this. What is it? It's when we won a sandcastle competition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Were we cute or what? Taylor, are you coming? I've got to go. You know. I know. Friends forever. You've got to be kidding. There's no way I'm going to school in a place that looks like a wedding cake. Don't be silly, Layla. It's tremendous. Those uniforms are so ugly. And that hair. After graduating from this place, you could be anything you want. I want to get out of here. Now, St. Davinia's is an excellent school. It gets top results as well as offering all kinds of brilliant things like, well, like, um... Show jumping, skiing, Japanese, Mandarin and cello. Exactly. Now, nothing's definite, of course. Not until the floon's money comes through, but uh, a place here could allow any young woman on the threshold of life to really expand her horizons. Spit it out now! Um, Mum, did you bring my school report? Oh, I left it inside the van. Sorry. Yes, work now. Hurry up. We're already late, love. Come on. Did you bring my school report? I left it at home. Deliberately. Since when were the delivery guys allowed to park here? Can you believe this? Underpant king. I can't believe someone actually sells undies for a living. And they're proud of it. <laughs> Did you see who got out? No. The Adams family. <laughs> and the little one looks like Cousin It. <laughs> and Layla, there's no report here. Oh, yes. What school are you at? Apparently my mum left my report at home. 
but I'm in year 10 at Driftwood High. Right, and um, what are your interests? My interests? That's a hard one. I'd have to say show jumping, Japanese, clarinet, and I have a special interest in Egyptology. Oh, really? And tell me, Layla, what sort of career would you like to pursue? I'd like to help those less fortunate than myself. Those with bad dress sense and skin blemishes and seriously damaged cuticles. Come in. Tea. Excellent. Thank you, Felicity, Emily. Now, Taylor, what would you hope to learn in an educational environment like ours? A sense of tolerance. Something that I think is underrated today. Not just in schools, but in the rest of society as well. Go on. But the thing is, miss, I don't think I'd find too much tolerance here. This seems like a place where students are quick to judge others by their appearance only. I mean, they may seem to be doing the right thing on the outside, behaving in a certain way, but on the inside they're just big mouths, small minds, snobs. What's the rule about not riding skateboards at school? Is there one? Might be quite the same without him. Taylor, how's that speech going? It isn't. Is there a problem? I can't think of anything to say. Gee! See, sir, there's a first time for everything. Very funny, Hector. What's the matter with you, anyway? Me? You've been in a bad mood all week. Have not. Have so. Ever since I mentioned Brainiac School. Well, I might not get in. You know, sometimes I think you don't even care. Care about what? About... This is unbelievable. Well, about... You know, I wonder what's going on up there. Did you know Cleopatra was the first woman in recorded history to get a pedicure? Funnily enough, that fact had escaped me. I think I'll book a few while I'm on the cruise. I thought you didn't want to go to St. Avinia's. I changed my mind. Well, you can forget that, Lila. Unfortunately, St. Avinia's is out of the question for both of you. What? What? It's disappointing news, I'm afraid. The bank, well, this stage anyway, they won't approve a loan. No. You mean, we can't afford the fees? But St. Avinia's needs me. Sorry to have mucked you about. Three. That's right. Now we're all splitting up. Well, we wouldn't have to if I went to Driftwood with you. You go into Brainiac School. There you go again. Ah, my PowerPoint people. Take this to the library and switch it on. And try not to black out the whole of Sunburn Beach like last time. It was only four blocks. Taylor! You made any progress on tomorrow's speech? Yep, it's great. Excellent. Refresh my memory, what's the topic? It's big. Seriously big. Yes. It covers many issues from global dimming to the hairy lady in the canteen. You haven't written it? No. I don't know what to say. Do you want some advice? Speak from the heart. I 
Bradley, you've got a visitor. It's like I always say, you can't underestimate the value of a sound education. Indeed you can't. Miss Barnett? Good evening, Taylor. I don't want to keep you from your homework, so I'll get straight to the point. Marguerite Warburton, the first woman barrister in this state, was educated at St. Davinia's. And when she died some years ago, the school council founded a scholarship in her name. It's yours. <laughs> Covers the lot. Books, tuition. You name it, you got it. Congratulations. Well, say something, Taylor. I just don't think I'd fit in. Well, if you don't like some of the attitudes of the school, Taylor, you could always do your best to change them. What am I supposed to do now? That's easy. Take the scholarship, Taylor. Anyone would. Hello? No, I wouldn't. You're made for Driftwood. Yeah, that's a thing. I don't know if I am. Hello? Driftwood rules. Be daring, Taylor. St. Davinia's is full of incredible opportunities. Take a chance. Why don't you leave her alone? Why don't you? <laughs> Excuse me? We were doing fine until you got here. Oh, really? Then why don't you let her make her own decision? St. Davinia's? Driftwood. St. Davinia's? Driftwood! St. Davinia's. Oh, Driftwood. Brittany does her introduction, then you turn off the lights. And no funny business, right? Right. Hey, have you seen Hector? No, sorry. Everything under control, Taylor? Uh, fine. You're on after the PowerPoint. Leon! Wait! Have you seen Taylor? That way. I didn't make it to Selective. What? I can go to Driftwood with you. No. Why? Why did this have to happen? Oh. Sorry. What's the matter? I got a scholarship to St. Davinia's. Oh, Taylor, that's great. No, she can't go to St. Davinia's. She can't, so. She's, gonna... She's going to St. Davinia's. No, she's going to so, ladies and gentlemen, as we say goodbye to our beloved Sunburn Primary, Hector, Leon and I would like to leave you with a few parting memories. Well done. We'll conclude now with a few words from one of our Year 6 girls, Taylor Fry. Go when I asked
asked what I should talk about today, I was told I could talk about what I've gained during my years here at primary. Truth is, I've gained heaps. <laughs> but watching that, one thing stands out way more than the rest. The best thing that we've all gained here is friends. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy that I learned all the other stuff, like computers, reading, long division. Maybe not so much long division. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I can't think of anything else in the world that's more important than friendship. And the friendships that we've made here, well, I know they're going to last forever. Tyler. I'm going to miss you. Say. <laughs> Hector, well done. I'm sure you do well. <laughs> Incredible. You've had serious head issues from the first day at Sunburn Public. Right up until your last. It's none of your business. It is if we're going to Driftwood together. What'd you say? We're going to Driftwood together. You see? Mm-hmm. You think after playgroup, kindergarten and primary, I'd let you go to big school on your own? You'd be mince meat. Mr. This is it. The moment I've been waiting for. Every single second of my life has been leading up to now. Today, I become a high school student.